Our extraordinary story took place five years ago in the city of Hong Kong when an eight-month pregnant woman went into labor and gave birth to a very special baby, a beautiful baby boy named Chi Yat. The birth of this baby boy was so special that he is still being talked about to this day among the medical world. But before we go into detail about how important the birth of this baby was, let's put it in context so you can better understand how it all happened. Jia Li and her husband were eager to meet their son, whom they had already decided to name Chi Yat after Jia Li's late father, who had died a few months before they knew they were expecting a child. The happy couple had been married for over two years and had struggled for quite some time to conceive a child, making the arrival of their baby even more meaningful. It was their miracle, and they understood the challenges they might face in trying to conceive again. Recognizing this, they approached the pregnancy with utmost seriousness, ensuring the mother received the best possible care and taking extra precautions throughout. However, no amount of precautions could prepare them for what the birth of their baby would entail. The first setback came when they reached the fifth month of gestation, and the doctor told them that he had seen something strange in the baby's ultrasound. Jia Li's heart stopped when she learned that the baby might have a tumor that was apparently developing inside the uterus. Right now, as the boy is positioned and because of his gestational age, we cannot determine if it is a malignant tumor or if it will affect the development of the fetus. In reality, what we know is little and the tests we can do to find out more could be very risky. We can only warn you that there is a risk that your son may be born sick or, in the worst case, may not even be born at all and die naturally during the next few weeks of gestation. The decision to go ahead is yours. The doctor who was carrying the pregnancy told them with great regret. We will go ahead. I don't care what your tests say. I have faith, sir. My child wants to live and I will not stop him. We are willing to take any risk answered the baby's mother decisively. Jia Li was so scared, but the desire to be a mother and welcome her baby was stronger than anything else. After that first diagnosis and the decision to go ahead with the pregnancy, the couple spent the last four months of the pregnancy very anxious at the thought of losing their baby. The final stretch of the pregnancy was very hard, but they were very hopeful that everything would turn out well because there had been no further changes to the possible tumor in the uterus and the baby seemed to be growing strong and healthy. But all of Jia Li's hopes of having a normal delivery and being able to hold her son were dashed just minutes after giving birth to the baby. What the doctors would discover inside her baby, who was only a few minutes old, was not logical and no parent is prepared to receive such news on one of the happiest days of their lives. As the child was suspected of having a tumor while still in the womb, so as soon as he was born they sent him for an ultrasound and what they discovered blew everyone's minds. Inside the baby were two live fetuses. The doctors were astonished. His condition could hardly be called a real pregnancy. What do you mean my son is carrying two embryos inside him? What are you telling me, doctor? My son is pregnant? A baby boy can be pregnant? I don't understand anything. What is going to happen now? Is that what they saw in the tests? Is that the possible tumor they saw four months ago? The baby's mother was hysterical. She had thousands of questions to ask the doctors and was terrified at the thought of losing her baby just a few minutes after bringing him into this world. The doctors were just as shocked as she and her husband, but they were more focused on saving the baby and finding a logical answer to what they had just discovered. This never or almost never happens, ma'am. Of course, throughout my long career as a doctor, I have never come across such a case, I assure you. We are as baffled as you are. I understand your fear, but the most important thing now is to save the baby. We must do more tests to find out the exact location of the fetuses, their size, and what is the safest way to remove them without putting your son's life at risk," said the doctor in charge of her case, who was visibly frightened and shocked by what had just happened. 
After performing all kinds of tests, the doctors found two embryos between the liver and the kidney. It was concluded that the boy was part of a triple pregnancy, meaning that Mrs. Jia Li and her husband would have fathered triplets, but for the fact that the boy's body somehow absorbed the bodies of his two siblings during pregnancy. We were going to be parents of triplets, and the baby absorbed his other two siblings? Really? My goodness, do you have any good news to give us, doctor? Just tell me if my son will survive, please. It's the only thing that matters to us right now, begged the baby's mother in despair after hearing the latest medical diagnosis revealing the strange case of her pregnancy. The truth is that science knows of cases of babies born with a fetus inside, although they are extremely rare. They occur about once every half a million births, but this is the first case of a baby being born with two fetuses inside. We are as shocked as you are, and believe me, we are going to do everything we can to save your baby's life. That is our priority right now, the doctor assured her. And what is going to happen now? Can the embryos be removed from inside my son? asked the baby's mother in alarm. Jia Li was exhausted and could do nothing but cry and think about her son. Fortunately, the doctors did have answers to those questions and had already devised a safe plan to remove the fetuses from inside the baby, who was only a few hours old. Of course, we will be able to remove the embryos from inside the baby, otherwise he would not be able to grow and develop. However, it is a risky operation, and it is preferable to wait a few weeks to carry it out. During that time, we will be able to do more tests and make sure which is the safest way to proceed, besides giving the baby time to develop a little more and his vital organs will be more mature. It will be risky, I'm not going to lie to you, but there is no other way to save the baby's life. Trust us, we will do everything in our power, assured the chief physician in charge of carrying out the delicate operation to remove the fetuses. So it was that three weeks after the unusual birth of baby Chi Yat, the delicate operation to extract the fetuses was carried out, a very complicated and unprecedented intervention that lasted almost five hours, in which the doctors successfully extracted the two fetuses, one weighed nine grams and the other 14 and a half. The weight of the two fetuses corresponded to between eight and 10 weeks of gestation each, and the doctors were even able to determine the sex of the babies. They were both boys. This meant that Chi Yat could have had twins if his mother's pregnancy had been free of pathologies and the unprecedented anomalies that occurred. The baby's operation was a resounding success that soon made the front page of every newspaper. It was an unprecedented case that had a great repercussion in the media all over the world, and that meant a great revolution within the medical and scientific community. Such was his success that the prestigious American gynecologist Dream Birch, who studies cases of children born with a fetus inside them, studied his case and concluded that it could be a fairly common case in which one partial twin is totally absorbed by the other during pregnancy while the mother may not even suspect that she could have had twins. However, a case had never before been seen in which the same embryo absorbed two of its siblings and managed to survive. No one seemed to have a clear explanation for what happened in Hong Kong. Doctors cannot explain what exactly can cause this type of anomaly during pregnancy, but the most important thing is that the operation was successful and that the baby boy was completely healthy and growing at a good pace. Thanks to the advanced levels of modern medicine and the efforts of doctors, even such rare and complicated cases as that of Jia Li and her baby can have a happy ending, or rather, a happy beginning, as the boy's life has just begun, and he still has many happy moments ahead of him. The family currently enjoys a quiet and happy life with their five-year-old son, a child who is unaware of what his birth meant for hundreds of people and who will one day have to discover all the mysteries surrounding his arrival in the world, but all in time. The birth of a baby is undoubtedly a miracle, but we must not forget that the very magicians who help make this miracle happen live next to us in white coats. 
They are the true heroes of this amazing story. Did you like this touching and surprising story? If so, we invite you to leave us a comment expressing your opinion. If you want to continue enjoying inspiring stories like this one, subscribe to our channel or check out the other videos shown at the bottom of the screen. Thank you for your cooperation.